Welcome to Prospect Basketball Weekly, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings in Mount Prospect. I'm here with Varsity Boys head coach John Camardell. Thank you for joining me on this very cold day. Oh, Wyatt, I can't go a morning without you. Encouraging. <laughs> yeah, always, man. So, what was really encouraging was how you responded against Wheeling on yep. Friday night. You, there, was a, there were a lot of lead changes from a team that you beat by about 20 points yeah. in your first meeting. How, how did you have to change game plan, sort of? In, during the game, because the Wildcats were playing really, really well. Yeah, well, when you start with Michael Best, who's one of the best players in the, uh, the MSL East, uh, in the MSL in total, you know, he's been up since he was a freshman. Uh, I think he put 14 on us in the first half. He had a lot of teammates hitting shots. He was spreading the ball around. Um, I mean, we were actually down going into the fourth quarter. And so what happens, you go on the road in the East, and you got to come ready to play. So I was proud of our guys. I think uh, by the fourth quarter we rallied and, and were able to score 26, which which finally gave us that cushion to win. Yeah, absolutely. And how did the how did the defense especially respond with Wheeling with Best, of course, putting 14 points in that half? Best really didn't yeah. have a big impact that second half. Yeah, that's the second half adjustment. You know, we tell guys that all the time: is you go and you play the first 16 minutes and you take you know the 10 minutes of halftime and either reinforce what you're doing well, or you got to shift things and adapt a little bit and. Uh, Rathy and our guys do an outstanding job defensively at halftime looking at where we're rotating, where we're closing gaps, and, and that happens. And then we felt really good about the, the second half, and we've been doing that all year and hope to, to continue it on here in the last month. Absolutely. Now you have Hersey coming into town, and the, their record is very, very close to your I think mm -hmm. they're, I think they only have two losses on, on, the conference, on the divisional season. How critical is this game in order to lock up the Mid-Suburban League East? Yeah. Well, we, we can't totally lock it up. But you can, um, you can, We could – Give ourselves a little separation. Yeah, there's a lot at stake um, for both the, the boys and the girls program. You know, this is a, a Friday night that's setting up to, to be a really entertaining evening of basketball. And, you know, we'll try and start it off at 6. You know, the girls will follow us at 730. But it, it really is. Don't get ahead of yourselves. You know, Hersey's got a ton of seniors. We've got a ton of seniors to play. And, and these guys have been going against each other for, <laughs> you know, junior high, high school. And, you know, it's one of those moments that you want to play well, and we got a couple of days of practice to prep for it. And there's a special meaning behind this rivalry this year, mm -hmm. as you're par partnering with Folds of Honor yep. and the Hershey basketball program. Not usually a partner you would partner with. Yeah. So, can you describe that a little bit? What yeah. you're doing? No, it's uh, Rathy and I were at uh, the wedding of Joe Latula, oh, uh, one of our yeah. former point guards, and we were speaking to his father and just catching up on what we were doing. And he had, had told us that this was uh, something he had started to invest his time in. Um, and, and I started bouncing ideas off him of how that could work, possibly with a basketball fundraiser. Um, and my brother, Michael, is, is now the varsity assistant mm -hmm. at Hersey. And so the two of us started talking, and they've got a new coach that uh, we know, Austin Scott. Oh, yeah. um, we're good friends and have been in the basketball coaching business together for a long time. And I ran the idea by him, and I said, why don't we, we come up with an idea to, to competitively raise money, um, but give it to, to a group of young men and women who need it, um, to help with, with college expenses. And so it seemed like a no-brainer, and, and we're really pushing hard this week to raise some money. Hersey's pushing hard this week to raise some money. Hoping to have a great game, very competitive atmosphere Friday, and then make a donation that can help families uh, for the things that are most important. Absolutely looking forward to that as well. So Kuba Kluszewski had a big day against you at Hersey yeah. in, in that game. How are you going to try and stop him, but also some of the other pieces that are involved with that puzzle, including guys like Ronzio Hanaszewski? Yeah, very good. Yeah, they, they got shooters all over the floor. Um, Kuba's great inside. He's got a great left hand. And it, it really is about forcing guys into off-balance, out-of-rhythm shots. You know, you're not going to completely eliminate makes. But what you can do is try and put guys in position um, where they're not as comfortable. You know, we'd like to believe that Gene Walker's a bit of a home court advantage I think and so. uh, our guys feel that way and you know anybody who has to go on the road we we hope to to have a maximum effort uh, on Friday and I think it's uh, it's going to be a game that I'm going to remember for a long time absolutely a win would put you at 7-0 and oh in the MSL East I sure. think yep all right coach Kimberdell thank you very much and stay tuned for an interview with varsity forward Abby Dansu Welcome back to Prospect Basketball Weekly, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings and Mount Prospect. I'm here with senior forward Abby Dansu. Abby, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, of course. Um, after big wins against Buffalo Grove and Wheeling last week, what's the mentality like in the locker room? Um, well, obviously it's very exciting. we got to keep our stuff going in the East. Um, mm -hmm. It's really close competition, so every game each week is like you got to stay in it, otherwise you're not going to have a chance. So it's Absolutely. really exciting. Yeah. What makes it you know different this year being your senior year? 
Um, it's just really special because we don't have a lot of these games left, so mm -hmm. it's just a different mentality going into it. Like, you want to play your best game, you want to play your best game for the team, especially since it's going to come down to a final few games Absolutely. for the East. What has it been like now, now that you're a senior and like a leader of this varsity team? How has your role shifted on the team? Um, it's definitely become a lot bigger this year, um, especially with like the changes and everything. But I think all the seniors feel like we have to be more leaders on the team, which I think can be said for all the teams across the East with a lot of senior leadership. Um, but obviously it's just a really special position to be in. Absolutely. Yeah. And especially you have the shirt on tonight, but you have your yeah. senior night at mm -hmm. Glenbirdies tonight. How excited yeah. are you for that game? I'm really excited. Yeah, I think against GBS, it's always a good game, um, good competition. So mm -hmm. I think it'll be a good game going in Friday against Hersey. Absolutely. And you mentioned that Hersey, that Hersey game on Friday as well. What's the mentality like? Like, how important is that game for you guys? Um, just like last week's game against Wheeling and the previous games against BG and Rolling Meadows, um, this is for the East. So you got to mm -hmm. keep winning if you want to have a chance to win the whole thing. Um, so obviously, every week just gets more and more important. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. Our final home game against Hersey so wow. for the seniors. So Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be a special night, yeah. That's all we have for Senior Abby Dansu. Stay tuned with an interview with girls head coach Marie Miller. Welcome back to Prospect Basketball Weekly presented by Buffalo Wild Wings and Mount Prospect. I'm here with girls head coach Marie Miller. Coach, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Now that you're on a three game win streak beating um, Rolling Meadows, Buffalo Grove, and Wheeling, what kind of confidence does that give the team? You know, the same kind of confidence uh, Coach Wills and I have been trying to instill in these girls from the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. we believe in them so much, their ability, their excitement, their just leadership mm -hmm. and everything. And now, you know, not even just since this three game winning streak, but since we've kind of had to learn how to win um, at Dundee Crown over the winter break, they've found that confidence in themselves. Absolutely. So that's that's crucial right there because they're the ones that are out on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just their biggest fans here on the sideline, but um, they're the ones out on the floor making it happen. So them having that confidence in what they can do, which is what we know they can do, is huge. Absolutely. You know, over the course of the season as they grow closer, what do you try to do to try to, you know, build team, team um, sportsmanship or like connected that connectivity you know from the very beginning of the season we did um, some team building activities mm -hmm. we went to uh, Covenant Harbor in Lake Geneva for a weekend and you know we did some outdoor ro high ropes courses and things like that that were really fun and the girls bought into it immediately which mm -hmm. is kind of the trend that's carried throughout the season with this group it's a really special group of kids that we kind of owe a lot of that leadership and, and demonstration to this senior class because mm -hmm. they've been through you know the ringer of um, coaching changes and programs Program changes right. and all that other stuff, and you know they're they're ready and willing to lead by example always. Right. So making sure that we've from very beginning of the season all the way through now, and we'll continue to do it until the end. You know, continuing to hammer in the philosophy of team first, me second, because mm -hmm. it's incredible what you can get done if you don't care who gets comp who gets credit. And as long as everybody's working together, everybody's role is important. Absolutely. Has it changed now that you started last year playing your game starting at six, now playing at seven thirty? Has that changed at all? Or is it pretty much the same? Um, you know, it, it, it's harder to wait mm -hmm. uh, a little bit right. later to actually get, get the game going. Right. Um, but, you know, for, for me personally, you know, it's a, it's a little bit less of a rush. Okay. Uh, and I'm sure the girls probably feel the same way. We can kind of take our time easing into the momentum of things. You know, we still leave about the same time because we go to support our boys. But, right. um, you know, just kind of letting ourselves, our minds get ready and unwind and detach from school and then get ready for game time. Uh, the only, the only downside is we have to wait a little bit longer to play, but um, we understand, you know, it's something that they've been doing for a couple of years now, right. so we're, we expected it, you know, we're in the rhythm of it, mm -hmm. it uh, and we keep telling the girls, you know, mental toughness above all is, is how we're going to be successful. Absolutely. With senior night tonight and then the game upcoming on Friday against Hersey, how important are these next two games? Very important, you know, for sectional seating and things like that as well, as well as to continue to build the confidence in our girls of what they're capable of doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, winning in the East is crucial right. at this point in the season, uh, but winning overall, of course, continues to just only emphasize and build the confidence and, and philosophy of what we're looking to do. Absolutely. That's all we have for Coach Miller. We'll see you next week on Prospect Basketball Weekly. Go Knights.